So it is suggested that all there is is boundless energy, simply boundless energy. Unconditional love. This is all unconditional love. Apparent, appearing. So everything that's appearing is that. You sitting on a seat, holding, holding a glass of water, hearing noises, feeling your body, seeing views, and the whole of what's happening or apparently happening out out there in the world, or all the events and stories that we hear of in the world are simply boundless energy in that form. It takes that form for no reason at all. And boundless energy doesn't begin or end, it's timeless. That's why what seems to be happening in the boundless energy, be everything that is happening in the world, in your life story, and all of that is completely without meaning or purpose. I'll say that again because seekers and people don't like hearing this. This is timeless. This is a timeless experience. So it has no meaning or purpose of any kind. And it is completely free, utterly free and unbound. And it appears as everything that is known and unknown. And because it's free and unbounded, it can also be contracted. It can be anything. So in the appearance in the world, there seems to be contracted energy as well, all over the world, contracted in varying degrees. A human being, when they're born, is born in a state of uh, boundlessness, really. There's no sense of identity in the, in the early part. But... Then contracted energy enters the body and seems to be a something that's happening suddenly that's new in the body. But for the child, what arises for the first time is self-awareness, self-consciousness. That, um, that contracted energy brings a feeling of self-consciousness, self-awareness. And so... The, what, what that initiates is a sense of individuality and a sense of separation. There's suddenly a feeling of the person, the me, being an individual energy in the body and everything outside being an object that's happening to that person. So the, what, what you then have is the beginning, the beginnings of a fantasy. I call it the dualistic fantasy. This is the beginning of the dualistic fantasy. And most people in the world experience that when they're born, or just after they're born, a year or two. They suddenly enter the dualistic fantasy. And that's what we have in the apparent world. But of course, the apparent world is only, it's only energy, boundless energy arising. It has no purpose or meaning. But it appears to have purpose and meaning. And for all of those who live in the fantasy of dualism, it definitely has purpose and meaning. The other thing that happens, yeah, the, the, the other thing that happens when the, yeah. when the individual takes form is that the individual feels that they are real. This is the major illusion. The major illusion that occurs in that energy. It's feeling, it's a sense of being real. I am real. And then thereafter, everything else that's seen is seen as real. The trees, the world, the mother, the father, the, the world, the, the universe, the stories that arrive are all seen as real. And the other thing that occurs is the feeling that the individual has free will and choice, and that that is real. And that that can influence the world that that person lives in. And so most people grow up living in the dualistic fantasy where they feel and, and believe that everything is real. And as they experience more and more of the world, so they feel more and more that everything is real. That's the great thing. Now, this feeling of being a separate individual, for most people, seems to be happening without them questioning it in any way. And although it's disturbing, they sort, they sort of live with it and make the best they can of it. And they feed themselves with the, the, the distraction of life in order to comfort themselves 
or apparently being separate, although they wouldn't necessarily acknowledge that. So everything that is happening, like power, money, all of those things, pleasure, being a professional victim or whatever, are all part of the way to avoid the feeling of being separate. But some people, sensitive enough, feel they need to do something about that sense of, of separation. So they look for an answer in religion, psychology, and all of those things. And there is no answer, because all of those things, like psychology and religion, all come from the, the basic same entity, the fantasy of dualism. And they try to deal with the problem through the fantasy of dualism. And the effort to seek the answer to feeling separate is rendered totally and utterly futile. So we can speak together about this situation, about the human condition, the predicament of the human condition. We can speak together, and it's possible with such a radical view as this, which is shared by a few others, but such a radical view of this may disturb some belief systems and some understanding. But then the nature of this message the impact of this message is absolutely and completely beyond understanding. It can't be understood, and trying to understand it is completely futile. There's, there's nothing that can be understood. The other thing I wanted to say is that this message, what's being communicated here, has nothing to do with you. Nothing at all. There's nothing that you can do about this message. There's nothing you can't do about this message simply is being um, talked about in this way and shared. Now, that sharing and that talking about this, the predicament of the individual and the possibility of there being only balance energy, that sharing carries something else. It carries an energy with it. It's an energy that is floating and, 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 and it has an effect. It has an effect on the contracted energy. It's possible that in these sort of meetings and outside them as well, don't need to be at meetings, it's possible in sharing this possibility that the contracted energy of the individual who lives in the fantasy can open and melt into the whole, into the balance So there we are. Okay, thank you, Tony. Um, I, Marianne is the first person who wants to ask a question. If you could please unmute yourself, Marianne. Hello, uh, Tony. Hello. Uh, there are body, uh, there are feelings, there are emotion for no one, isn't it? Uh. Body emotions. Yeah, emotions. All of those things are apparently happening. Apparently. Mm. They're only uh, apparent. They're not real. Not real. Uh, Sometimes I feel angry. Yeah. So, I feel angry is what I mean to you. You are a person who feels that the anger that arises is your anger. So you take possession of that anger and make it yours. And we all you also make it real. It's a real anger, I'm suggesting. Whereas in fact, that's what arises in the dualistic fantasy. Whereas as far as this is concerned, in the natural fantasy, there is just anger. There isn't any. Anger. There's nothing that needs to be done with the anger, because in the natural fantasy, in the natural reality, there is no right or wrong. In the in the dualistic fantasy, there is right and wrong, and anger is seen as something that's wrong and needs to be dealt with. But the effort to deal with that anger, try and make it better or good, turn it into something good, is utterly and completely wonderfully pure. Uh, and, and nothing happens. It's nothing happens. It's what's apparent here. Yeah. Nothing happens. All there is is nothing apparently happening. That is 
that is the that is the energy. There's nothing um, in it. Boundless energy is nothing. Um, Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Okay, the next person is Shubna. Hello. Mute yourself, Shubna. Hang on, I'm just trying to get rid of Marianne. Just one second. Are you saying Sahara? Um, I've got, I, I'm saying Shubna Metro. Shubha? Shubha Metro, yeah. Hi. Hi, yeah. Hi. Hi, yeah. I can see you out there. I'm just trying yeah, to get you, yeah. um, you got got down there. There we are. Oh, there you are. I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't yeah. get rid of Marianne at the moment. Hello. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Destroy. Destroy. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Tony. Hiya. Shuba. So nice to be here. Uh, I have absolutely no clue what I'm what that's I'm a, going to say, but I just that's want that's to wonderful. thank you. That's wonderful. I love <laughs> I know. that. Yeah. I have, I, I'm, and I'm just been going through life like that for some time since I heard you. The first time I heard you, it did not, it, the mind came in or whatever, it did not click. Mm. And then the second time, after a month, I again heard you and something just made so much, I don't know, sense. Or it's oh. been, the mind is just, I have no clue how the life is going on, but it seems to be functioning so well on its own. Good. And, uh, yeah, it's very well yeah. on it. It's always been on yeah, it. Yeah, it just, just, just. I mean, why were we carrying so much of burden of that and doing well, this you, and trying that? Because you think that... you're in a story. Because you think everything yeah. is real and you're in a story and you have to make it right. You never will. Yeah. Just... And it's so much, I mean, it just works by itself. It's, I have absolutely like, no clue about anything that's going on, actually, but Good. it's somehow Good. beautiful. Good. Thank, thank you, you so much. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, the next stop video, hang on, remove spot right there. But the next lady is Heloise Mora. Would you like to unmute yourself and I'll. Yes. Hi, Tony. Hi, Hiya. Hiya. How are you? Hi, Hi there. Hello. Thank you for taking yeah. questions. So, Tony, I was just listening to your clip called No Escape. No Escape. No escape, <laughs> and it's brutal. <laughs> Good, oh, and then, brutal. but yes, and despite understanding that it is all illusory, all meaningless, there is still a deeply rooted belief there, which to most of the characters apparently started very early was set very early. But then comes this fut futile attempt to extinguish itself. Mm. Starts struggling to get rid of itself. Mm. And my question is, is there any point in surrender? Oh, no. There, no. <laughs> <There's> no <laughs> there, is, there is no one to surrender. There is nothing yeah. that can be done. And, but not only is there nothing that can be done, but there is no one. You only yeah. dream in the dream in the fantasy that you are a person. You dream that you can do something. There is no person. There's no. There's nothing that can be done, and there's nothing that needs to, to be done because this is already whole. This is the boundless energy that's already whole. Whatever you're looking at, whatever you're feeling right now, is wholeness. It's already complete. So that, how could there be anything to do? Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, the next person is uh, Ryan Dempsey. Hi, Tony. Hi, Ryan. Um, similar to the Shuba, 
I don't have a clue what I'm about to ask you or about to say or anything. Um, just seeing if there's even a question to be asked. It's all right. It's not matter if there isn't. Yeah, so what about like um <laughs> what about <he>, like te- <laughs> <laughs> what about like teachings that that resonate? What is that? What is well it might resonate for you, but the te- any teaching is based on dualism. Teaching is part of the fantasy that there is someone who needs to learn something in order to reach somewhere that they think they've lost or to reach a place that they've lost. It's a complete and utter fantasy. All teaching is dualistic. And and anybody that follows a teacher is just living in a futile energy. Okay, let me me rephrase that then. Uh, Let's say a, a message. So... There's certain things that people would say where I would just go, okay, that's bullshit. That's just bullshit. It could be, and it could be coming from like a holy person. Like it could be coming from a priest. It could be coming. So I use a priest in a, as an example. There's a, there could be a priest that says something like, that says the same thing. And I, my so mind. How do you mean the same thing? I've no idea now. Says what? I don't know. I don't, uh, quite understand what I don't understand what I just said either. Right, come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Thank you. Oh, right, you might come back anyway. Come back. I might come back and ask another question. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Okay. Hey, okay. next person is uh, Sahara. <laughs> Um, would you like to unmute yourself, Sahara? Yes. Hiya. Hiya, Sahara. Hi, Tony. How are you? Yeah, good. Lovely you? to see you. Lovely to see you. I'm quite well. Um, and so the thing about everything you were describing that the person attempts Even all of that has nothing to do with the individual because there's no one there, even if that character imagines that it is a separate individual. No, but all the time it imagines a separate individual and it goes on making an effort. That's the point. Even though one could say there is no separate individual, as far as the individual is concerned, they are real. I am a real person, and I can do something about my situation. Except that happening is still simply life itself doing that through the individual. I know, but the individual doesn't know doing the, that. The individual doesn't know that. The individual in the fantasy believes that they are the activators of their life to some extent and they can influence it. That is a complete fallacy, it's a complete illusion. But the the, the individual doesn't know that. The individual individual believes they have influence on all this communication is doing, is illuminating that as a a simply an illusion. Y- yes. Matter, doesn't matter how many times you tell them they aren't real or they're not they don't have any don't have any choice. They believe they do, so they'll go on having choice. Y- yes, well, they go on imagining that they have choice, but mm-hmm. but what's actual and that's apparent, but what's actually happening is that character is simply acting out what life is is lifing through them. Yes, I know that. No. I don't yes. know that. Because there's oh, no yeah. one there. Because there's no one there. I know, but that's what you believe, maybe. I don't know. Apparently, as far as I'm concerned, that's absolutely for sure. But they don't know that. 
I understand that. I understand that. But I'm looking at myself now and I'm looking around me at the characters, the humans I'm surrounded by. And what, okay, so something happened to me last year. I watched the Being Here video and there was an energetic shift here. And as a result of that, uh, Everything changed. I feel that I'm between two worlds right now, that the sense of self hasn't completely dissolved. And yet it's this, there's this, there, there's something that recognizes that what's happening through this character is not the result of its own will. Okay. Yeah. And and that when I encounter others that are behaving in various ways, whether benevolently or the opposite, there's also the sense that this is just that life happening through that character so there can be no kind of blame attached you did this to me okay because, so, so so it's very liberating for you yes for the, okay, for the part that still has the sense of selfhood there's still there's still a fragment of sense of self mm -hmm. and 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 it's just been kind of i mean all the air has gone out of the balloon in a way there's a okay. big relief okay thank you thank you tony Okay, um, we've just got, um, and I'll come to it in a minute, Angie now. So we'd like to ask you a question, Angie. Hi, Tony. Hi, yeah. So uh, the question is about what is happening right now. So we have this uh, meeting and this uh, apparently. Um, apparently with apparent individuals. And uh, this kind of feels like it is a way towards something. And this oh. is this is a, a point of stickiness for me, actually. And in the way the communication says that uh, uh, some uh, sort of uh, energetic shift might happen during this meeting. So um, I feel like in a way the communication uh, enforces the seeking energy by saying, you know, there is an energetic uh, shift happening in this meeting. So then, of course, the the apparent seeker in me is here, you know, trying to bathe in this energy. Well, you <laughs> so, can't do that. So, you I can't know. do that. This has I nothing. To, it has nothing to do with you. Yes. I did say that but at the beginning. There's nothing that you can do about this. There is no you to do anything about this. The idea that you can bathe in this or, or even be at the meeting or something will happen is yeah. completely uh, illusory. I just feel this paradox is kind of sticky for me. Mm. So, you know, I... I why am I here? You know. Oh well, you're not. There's no why. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it's what's apparently happening. This yeah. is what's apparently happening. There's something there that's uh, this meeting. You didn't come because of the meeting. It's just what's apparently happening. But that doesn't mean because you're here that anything significant would happen. There isn't anything significant to happen. Everything is already complete. And all we're doing is sharing about that. Yes, I understand that. And I feel like that is a, 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 some sort of stickiness here. 
you know, that the fact that I show up. And as you said, there's nobody there to show up <laughs> or, yeah. or want this energy energetic shift to happen. Um, but it's it's still felt that way. <laughs> okay. Fine. Thank, Thank you. you. So there's a, a written question, Tony, um, which says, can you please ask Tony to explain what part of the brain, um, what part the brain plays in what the me does? Well, the brain is, obviously has an influence on what the me does. Fact, let's start at the beginning. Me doesn't do anything. It only believes it does something. It's a belief. There is no me. It takes action, that's simply an appearance of boundless energy. And the brain can come into that action through very, in various ways. Obviously, it has an intelligence about the situation, and an action might be taken that is partly influenced by the brain. That's all. Okay, there's a now question from um, William. Nothing being William. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Hi, William. I'm terrified of this. Oh. Might you leave, lose your self-esteem? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, really. I don't have a question. I'm just absolutely in love with this hmm. communication. Yeah. I've noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> But it also kind of feels like I'm absolutely doomed now because nothing else. I can't go back. You can't do anything. There is no you to do anything. That just is what is apparently happening. Nothing apparently happening. It just feels like waiting for something. I know everyone's having the same experience who feels like a person, but it feels like none of the distractions mean anything now and I've just got to wait. I know that's not what you're saying. No, not at all. There's nothing to wait for. This is homeless already. So why would you wait? What, what sort of... Are you are you waiting for a larger homeless or a more meaningful homeless or a homeless that will suit William? <laughs> <laughs> There's only homes, so there's nothing to wait. Well, the problem is, for me, is there'll be a glimpse for however long, even if it's just a few minutes. And then as soon as the me returns, it's like, well, that was wholeness and now it isn't. Mm. And then there's just, a, for me, like an obsession and a fascination. Mm. Obviously, I'll never be able to know what that is without the seeking, but mm. that's all I want. Mm. Well, you'll never get it. <laughs> <laughs> nobody ever has nobody gets it whatever they want they never get I love you Tony and, and you I love you <laughs> lovely to talk to you as always thank you okay now we've got Emmanuel Hello. Hello. Un unmute. Um, you need to unmute yourself, Emmanuel. I did unmute. Hello, hey, Emmanuel. Yeah. Now you hear me? Yes. Yeah. How are you, Tony? I'm okay. <laughs> I am I'm so I'm I am so very happy and um, deeply honored to have met you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday I wrote. Um, a poem uh, dedicated to you and I uh, oh. sent on this link. Um, oh, okay. Thank I will, you. I will read it. Uh, it's a short one. Uh, oh. My dear Tony Nobody. That's the title. Oh. Because what you are saying doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I know you are not lying. Oh. I love you and I thank you deeply because you confirmed only nothingness doesn't lie. 
Thank you. That's really lovely. Thank you. Thank you, really. Tony. Good. I have I had no question. I really wanted to talk to you. And okay, uh, you can send me an email of that. I'll surely do it. Good. Thank Keep you. it up. Love you. And you. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, next person is iPhone. So whoever iPhone is, um, can they unmute themselves and... Yes. Uh, hi, Tony. Hiya. Hi. Hi, Claire. Hi. Hi. Um, I just, uh, you know... <clears throat> you know, understanding the concept... Uh, there's no uh, me, there's no free will. It's just energy boundless happening. It, it doesn't make uh, it, the, the heinous crime easier. No. It doesn't make, make the heinous crime easier. Oh, right. Yeah. Whatever they are, and boundless energy happens. I know. Uh, I know. It's just, it's, it's all boundless energy, but... It's still painful there, mm -hmm. right? The pain, pain is a pain. Yeah. 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 It's not about forgiveness. Right? Is that a question? Oh, is that a question? No. There's yeah, nothing, yeah. There's nothing to forgive because there is no right or wrong. All there is is nothing to pay it feels like it should be easier then, and it's mm. not. Mm. It's not. No, it's not easy for that which is lives in the fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I want out. Oh, I right. want out. <laughs> I want out. Mm. Thank you so much, Tony. Okay. Have, thank a, you. have, a, have a wonderful summer. Yeah, and I'll see you soon. Thank no. you. Bye bye. Love you guys. Bye bye. Bye. Um, so we've got Ryan back. What does that mean? There we are, Ryan. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Oh, hello. You've got a. You've got another question. <laughs> Do I? Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know if I do or not. Um, just uh, uh, what I'm feeling right now is just like what I describe it as tension just coming out of my hips, just like mm. shaking. Mm. And that's been happening for a long, well, apparently been happening for a long time. And it's also, it's, it's very clear that there's no time. There's no time, but it, there's, there's conditions. And the conditions just like repeat until they don't. Uh, and what are the conditions? What are the conditions? I don't know what the can, I don't know. Oh. They're just, the, whatever's happening, whatever's happening is the conditions, and they, they right. seem to like cycle. Or right. like it seemed that until they, yeah, like until the, the energy like moves or something, like they just keep going and loops. Uh, so, um, So yeah, so like I find myself back in a situation now where it's like exactly the same situation can or condition. So, you know, I went tra I went traveling for six months. Uh, I didn't know why I was tra the the purpose of the travel, and then event and then I just came back right. to the same condition with say the same job. Right. It's, exa it's exactly the same, but it's also like different it's like a different perspective or yeah and like the people are different as well like right. they're they've, they've also like 
react like i express differently to them they express differently to it's because the condition changed because something shifted within this so oh, then yeah. that could, reflection or whatever shifted also uh okay so I don't know. It's just so mysterious. This is all so mysterious. Like, I don't know what's it's going true. on, but it's... it's all right. You don't have to know what's going on. It's just going on. It's going on, yeah. But it feels like it has... It feels like it has a... I don't, I don't want to say it feels like it has a purpose, but it's, it's oh, almost okay. like a purposeless purpose or hmm. it has a direction or... or it's... it's Everything has to be like it has to be a paradox. Like it, it, if I say direction, it has to be like a directionless direction. It just I don't know why I have to say it that way, but it just has to be expressed always with the the opposite. Okay. Uh, like I find it funny. Like I don't know if you are in the movies, but like Oppenheimer, this new movie Oppenheimer came out, which is like a serious kind of movie about the atomic bomb and all this here oh, at the same time like barbie just came out oh like, yeah, yeah. To be like that's much more like, interesting that's quite cool the way that happened i think it's it's the the serious and the the playful both coming out those are the two biggest movies okay. of, the, of the current time um i think that's quite yeah that's quite cool and it's also cool that you know I'm in the same condition with the job and everything, and I went traveling because well I didn't I didn't there's no because I I went traveling there's no reason I didn't even know why I was going didn't even really right. want to go to be honest right. but that was almost like that condition for traveling needed to like play out for me because I'd done it a lot in the past in the past <laughs> so. Um, but yeah, now now it's like it's the same job, but I I like enjoy it. It's just like there's it's very simple, very simple job. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, we've got um um a couple of written questions, which I can actually probably roll into one. Actually, Tony. Okay. There's, um, there is no person, but there is a body. And what is looking at all of this, it still seems to point to an observer, subject and object. So if non-duality is this and duality is this and that, is this human experience more this, that and the other? Yeah, you, basically most people live in the experience of duality, this and that. That's how the observer arises. The observer only rises in the fantasy, in the dualistic fantasy. It can only be there because it's observing something else. So you've got one, the observer, and what it's observing to. That's dualism. Okay. So now we have Malika. Uh, Malika. Malika Chelt, I think it's, uh, I'm not yeah, quite sure. Malik. I'm going to um, add you. Malik. Malik. Hi, uh, Malik. Tony. Okay, so I find this is a, a very interesting, everything you're saying, <clears throat> but um, it also needs to be heavily questioned because it is devastating. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, but it's difficult to question you because you're so slippery. <clears throat> oh right, okay. Anyway, so uh you say that um there's only energy, right? I suggest there is only boundless energy. All there is is boundless energy. That's what you're saying. You're saying there is only boundless energy. Mm. So uh, so you you're saying... looking at it, you're looking at it. That's what's happening. What's happening right now is boundless energy in this form. But but then that means that uh Boundless energy, energy does exist. No, it only appears to exist. Everything, yeah. I did say that too, maybe you didn't hear it. Everything is only an appearance. It's not real. 
So energy is also only an appearance. Of course. I did say everything is an appearance. Everything. Everything's an awful lot. But I mean, do you mean that uh, everything appears sort of like randomly? It could be... Well, randomly or not. It's just whatever you're looking at right now or feeling or whatever is simply an appearance of nothing. It's nothing appearing to hand. All there is is nothing appearing to hand. Yeah, yeah but, but I mean, all the things that, that you're seeing, um, except for nature, is... No, nature is... Nothing. Yeah, and everything else, everything, technology, and all, all the things that we are surrounded, mm -hmm. it's all made by human beings. Isn't oh, no, no, but it's a pan. It's only a pan. It's not real. But it is made by somebody. Well, it apparently is made by an apparent someone. Can we go on with this or <laughs> can we change the subject? <laughs> Yeah, but if somebody makes something, there must be desire behind it. Well, there, there, there probably is. And the desire is also apparent. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about <laughs> being so slippery. I'm not being slippery. I'm sharing what's going on here. And that is that all there is is nothing apparently. Apparently. Nothing. And when you, okay. It's a suggestion. You don't know how you can ignore it. Anymore. When you say, what is appearance then? What does that mean? Appearance, it's the opposite of real. It's not, there's nothing that's real. Appearance is nothing appearing to be a tree. So the tree is nothing appearing to be a tree. It's an appearance. And the seeing of it is also nothing. Hmm. All there is is nothing, apparently. Yeah. All right. Thank Good. you. Thank you. There's another question. Someone saying, how do I get out of this hypnotic state? You don't. Uh, you are, what is happening there is a pattern happening and there's nothing that can be done about it because there is no one and there is no free will and choice. So there's nothing that gets out or stays in. What you are describing is nothing apparently for me. Not real. Okay, the next person is Jetty Para. Hello, Tony. Hello. I have no camera, so it must be a without. <laughs> okay. But I just want to say hello to you. It's my first time uh, watching a di direct uh, video with you. Okay. Um, I first met your message uh, looking at YouTube videos, videos, and um, I, I got angry and frustrated <laughs> the mm. first times. But People now, I, yeah, <laughs> but now I don't seem to be able to stop watching. <laughs> so. Wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for what you told me. That lovely. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. So now we've got Val Gisler. Cheers. Val Gisler. Hello, Val. Hello, Val. Hi, Val. Hi, Hi, Jan. How are you, Tony? Okay. You? Good. Um, I, I, I guess I need a little clarity. I know that you've said in your books and that. You know that phrase where once you're in the tiger's mouth, is there's nothing left. And I, I think about it that at times, and it's like, well, where the hell am I? Am I near the tiger? Am I, you know, in the jungle? <laughs> I, I, you know, it just I can understand the phrase, but when it's when it's brought up in this context, I I don't understand it. Or well, I've never, I've never actually posted anything about the tiger or being in the tiger's mouth. That's from someone else you've seen. Oh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm me been trying to say that the every the thing that you long for, yeah. that you search for, it's constantly all there is already. So constantly all there is already is the beloved, is unconditional love, is freedom, it's yeah. it's is boundless energy. That's all there is. You're sitting in it, you're breathing it, you're feeling it, you're seeing it, you're touching it. It can't be avoided. You can never avoid the beloved. 
It's the perfect lover. So you don't have to have your head in a tiger's mouth or anything <laughs> horrendous like that. That sofa you're sitting on is the beloved. So enjoy it as it is. There's nothing to do about it except sit on it. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay, um, there's another question. Did you hear this message from someone else? No, I've never heard it from anybody. The only thing I would say is that um, there is an attempt by a greater Vedanta um, and other people to try and describe what was being described in the Open Secret. But the only problem that they all seem to have, it's interesting that they have it, is that they all try to teach it as though it's something that can be learnt and, and, and obtained and or owned like an object. I don't accept any of that. And nothing I, I've read before has ever been written or expressed in the way that this is now being written or expressed. And I'm not the only one writing or expressed. But it's very rare. It's very difficult to find anybody who actually is genuinely communicated. There are a few very rare. Okay. Um, the, so Upanishads, the Upanishads attempt to write about there being nothing and everything, but they still teach you or try to teach how to obtain it. So, Okay, we've got um, Jason now. Hello, Jason. Hello, Jason. Hi, Tony. Hi. Hey. You know, normally I like these meetings. Today I'm so irritated. I just right. like, right. I just, like just so squirmy and just like I want everybody right. to just shut up. And uh. oh. anyway, um, for a while there was a lot of the meaning and being going on here, kind of dramatically. And now it's just occasionally a very subtle shift or something. And I'm just kind of the me, I'm here. And there's like this kind of depression and I'm just waiting until I'm not me anymore. Oh, like, somehow well, at that point, like, is... life, I, when... all the time you're waiting, then you are putting out an energy which is not accepting. Not that I'm suggesting for a moment that you can accept either, because there's nothing you can do at all. And the whole idea of waiting in a waiting with something is the way of permanently keeping what you're waiting for at a distance. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the people, there are a group of people who call themselves a direct approach group of people. They mainly work with questions and uh, who am I and meditation and all that. The whole idea that you could approach this immediately makes it distant because this is all there is. So please tell me if this is all there is and there isn't anything else, how would you approach it? Because your very footsteps are the beloved, trying to approach the beloved. It's well, yeah, obviously it doesn't make any ludicrous. sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's what's going on. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. I like your chair. Oh, thank thanks. you. Uh, now we've got Jackie Lodge. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Tony. Hello. Oh, Jackie. Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, good to How's see you again. How's your house? All good? Yeah, it's still standing, yeah. The odd, oh, the odd that's important. Crack, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not fallen down. Just... You look good. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so do you. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen you for a while. You know, like, you know, I was following you, you know, rel religiously for a mm. while. You know, and and I really get you know the kind of thing about the the waiting, and and I think I think I kind of I felt that it was it. Well, I mean, I know all this is bullshit. You know, like it's not I and it's not me oh, doing it, but but but, it, but yeah, I kind of 
I kind of felt like I, I, I had to stop listening to you and right, stop, okay. you know, stop listening. You know, I mean, I yeah, I mean, I yeah. Well, you're not, you know, what I mean, I didn't. Well, do that. listening to me is a way of avoiding this completely. Say that again. Listening to me or anyone who speaks in this way is a way of avoiding it because you're indulged in the whole of the, of the all the ideas about it rather than just in letting it be there. Yeah, yeah, I kind of got to the point where, like, I, yeah, I, I couldn't get any further in terms no, of no. making Although it. There isn't anywhere, there isn't anywhere yeah. to get to, but I know what you mean. Yeah, so I kind of felt like I had to, well, not, yeah, anyway, I stepped away from it. Okay. From, you know, and I got into the whole um, self, you know, more self development type thing. Oh, did you? Oh, great. Yeah, Are just, you more self developed now? I am actually, Tony. <laughs> I am. I'm definitely more self-developed. I'm not quite Good. as reactive and um well, yeah. a, but you know, it, it was that like, well, at least at least it feels like there's some progress. Yeah, um, absolutely. I'm a bit happier. You won't make any there. progress listening to this. Exactly. Which is no, yeah. None at all. And and at the same time, it's lovely to see you again. And to, Good, yeah, lovely. Listen. Thank you. I love to you both. Love to you, Claire. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Jackie. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, Keep developing. Um, now we've got Remy. Uh, Remy, if you'd like to um, ask. Yes. Oh, I can't see you very well. You're sort of blinded light. Hello, Tony. Hello, Remy. Hello, Remy. Hello, Remy. Hello, Remy. Hello, Remy. Hello, Remy. Remy. Hello, you can hear me. Can you hear me? Hear you. Okay, thank you, sorry. Uh, hello, Tony. Yes, my question was quite simple uh, in the sense that, okay, I can understand if I, um, if I try the, the self-inquiry, then I can understand I am beyond everything. That thing I can understand, you know. But on the other sense, if I am already there, still the ego sense is here, you know. If I just look directly... I still feel, if I am inside, still the, the sense of I is still there. Okay. That is also quite a story. Because intellectually, I can understand, I can feel it, I can feel that I am beyond, beyond there is nothing there. I can understand, I can but still the ego sense yeah, okay. is still there. Okay, thank you. There's nothing to be done, everything is already out. Is that okay? Nothing is to be done. Okay. Thank you. Um, then there's a written question, please, which is, Tony, you mentioned there are very few genuinely sharing this message. Could you identify a few, and how do you distinguish the true from the false teachers? No, you, so well, much. you know, this can't, they can't be named um, because they are nobody. So there can't be a name, obviously. And uh, well, false, well, I don't like the word false, but other people who communicate a message that seems similar to this um, have a teaching added on or an intention to there's uh, something built into the way they communicate, which has something to do with personal attention. And when that is the case, then obviously it's got nothing to do with what I'm talking about what these other people are talking about. And the idea that there's somewhere to get to, or there's an agenda, or there's an intention in the, in the communication to help people find something they think they've lost, and just it's it's a, it's an artificial communication. It's got nothing, or it's got nothing to do with what we're talking. About. There's nothing available here for anyone. Um, okay, hang on one minute. Okay, the next person then is Imran Hassan. Yeah, hello Imran. Hello Tony, how are you? Yeah, good, you? I'm good, thank you. Um, Tony, I realised some time ago, I think perhaps after a telephone discussion with you, that there can't be any progression towards this. Obviously not, because there isn't anyone. How would there be no one? If there's no one, how can anything progress towards that which is already whole? 
Yeah. If everything is already this, how can you progress towards it? Yes, of course. Something that's been happening that is new for me is sort of like an utter amazement or awesomeness at nature and colour, a vividness, a clarity. Is yeah. that of any relevance whatsoever? No, there's anything of any particular relevance, but I'm glad you're enjoying what you're enjoying. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Okay. Um, there's a comment in the chat room which you may want to um, comment on, Tony. Right. Um, it says, "You only." This is a comment. You only need to listen to this message once. If you're here a second time and it's not just for fun, then you may as well keep coming forever. You're seeking energy is being funneled into the phenomenon that is Tony Parsons' meeting. To some extent, there's a truth in that. As I said to the lady I was talking to just now, you can become fascinated by the ideas that don't seem to come in and out of this sort of meeting. And if that's what's happening, that's what's happening. There isn't a right or wrong. There's some implication and what's been written, but there's a right way to listen and a wrong way to listen, a right way to come and a wrong way to come. Please tell me who would choose to do that rightly or wrongly. It's all based on the fantasy of there being someone who can choose. And there's another uh, question, which is, can you be more specific about the role the brain's function plays in all of this? I uh, know. I don't know enough about it. I don't need to. There's no need to understand the brain. There's no need to understand anything for this to be, to be open to. Okay, so now there's three people who've asked questions before. So, Ryan, would you like to give, a, give another go? Yes, no, I, no question. I just want to say thanks, Tony, for the communication. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Thank you. And then we've got uh, nothing being William. Oh, hi, Tony. Hi. I know you say over and over again that you don't have anything and that this is total poverty. But when I'm listening to you talking, I can't help but feel jealous as if you've got what I want. Mm. Even though you said I'll never get it and no one will ever get it. Are you able to convince me that there's no... How the, 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 there's nothing there that has anything. I can't. No, of course I can. No, not possible. I, as long as I feel like I'm someone, I'm always going to project that you've it's got. It's in the nature of, of of the person, William, to want what other people have got, or to be more powerful or greater than other people. We were talking on the phone the other day, and you said you wanted to be like. Two or three people that speak in this way, including me. And I said to you, I don't think you actually want to be like the other people that speak in this way. I think you want to be greater than the other people that, and me that speak in this way. The problem with all of that is that in order to speak like this, everything has to be lost. But your problem is that you want to be there when it happens. So you're, uh, it will never happen all the time that you are there wanting to possess not being there. Uh -huh. So in a way, my jealousy that I feel towards you is kind of like a greediness. No, no question. Yeah. The city is driven by two forces in very simplistic terms, fear and greed. It drives them on. Yeah. And uh, and it absolutely uh, it absolutely ensures that they will never find him. Oh. When we were talking one of the times this week, um, and you were saying that somehow you always, when you were a seeker, you always felt trusting that the beloved was good. If you collapsed into the beloved, it would hold you and caress you yeah. and love you. And I was saying that my experience is the opposite. I feel like the beloved is a rival that I have to battle with. Mm -hmm. I was talking about that conversation we had with Jim and what Jim said to me was the kingdom of heaven can't be taken by force. Yeah. 
I like that. Uh, that's my life. <laughs> yeah, take... you are, yeah, of course you do. That's <laughs> the way you are. We talked about it quite a lot. But anyway, the kingdom of heaven can't be taken because it's already everywhere anyway. Why, how, where, where would you go to find it? Where would you go? You're sitting on it. You're holding it in your hand. There is only the kingdom of heaven. Already. That's your heart. Thank you. Thank you, thank you William. Love you. Love okay. you too. We've got um, Katie now who wants to ask a question. Hi, Katie. We need to ask you to unmute, Katie. You need to click the little sign that looks like a microphone. Okay. And there's something else showing up here that I need to get rid of. Okay. Fine. You're um, fine. Okay. Thank you. And I just have to say, I just met you uh, a mm -hmm. few weeks ago uh, online. And and so then when I saw this, I wanted I just wanted to join. And all I can say is, all I noticed is that this makes a huge smile. Oh, so thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's lovely. That's it. Huge. <laughs> oh, sweet. You might fall into it. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh too. So much good things. Oh. Thank you. Hmm. So there we are. <laughs> um. So we've now got Marike. Marika, sorry. Marika, yes, yeah, that's all right. Uh, hello, hello, Tony. Uh, sometimes, hello. Uh, sometimes you use the words uh, "what's being suggested here," and I wonder what do you mean by this word "suggested" or "suggested"? Uh, just that, that, that um, after this is a response. This is, you're talking to a response. You're not talking to anyone, and it's a, simply a response to the question, what is this about? So the response is suggesting that what this is about is... Da, 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 da. Okay. Thank you. I've got a written question now. I've been listening for a long time, and there was a sense of, oh, yes, I understand. It has carried me through, but I don't understand. I don't get it. There is nothing to get, but why... But I still want it. Why? Because the seeker can only really depend on understanding. That's why the seeker asks so many questions. Because the seeker has an intention to work out what the problem is for it in order that it can resolve it and find satisfaction. That energy is completely and utterly futile. But it is based on the uh, it's based on the background in, in childhood and growing up. But knowledge is very powerful. Knowledge will bring you all sorts of things. And so when you come across a problem like this or a question like this, then you naturally use that idea of knowledge and understanding to try and undo this problem as well. You never will, because it's entirely different from the problem, the earthly problems that you may have been or may not have been resolving in your life through knowledge. Thank you. Which has nothing to do with knowledge. It can't be known. This can't be known. Okay, now we've got a question from Kira Garner. Would you like to? Hi, Kira. Oh, hi, Tony. Um, I'm in Canada and I came to visit you in London for a in-person session once in Wales many years ago. And I, I just love listening to you. Um, the one question, like I've heard people say, you know, like it sounds like some people it happens where what happened to you, where you, you, it's just random. It sometimes happens to people where randomly it spontaneously happens, but there's nothing you can do to make it happen. But I've heard people say that you can sometimes make the prison more comfortable while you're in it or have yeah. more fun. Um, yeah. I, I do. I just wanted to say, I do find 
um, like the message, even though obviously I'm getting this inside of the ego person or whatever, because I have a lot of fun in life, but the misery I create in life is mostly about, oh shit, I screwed up. So if I think of the message that this is just consciousness unfolding, it just Um, helps me. That's not it. Well, consciousness, I don't, consciousness is a form of knowing. It's meaningless as far as I'm concerned. But, But what you're doing, what you're saying is that life is playing itself out. And you might as well make yourself comfortable in the journey. How you do that, of course, is up to you. But of course, the only other thing is that I have to say, if there is anybody that can choose to do that, it may or may not happen. There is no one, there's no choice. So you, like, and I guess the whole thing is if we do some stuff in life, we we are do some stuff in life to work on thinking or our health or whatever blah 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 that's all going to happen anyway it's just because we're not choosing it absolutely so okay well thanks okay Judy. thank you um now I've got Anita. Anita. Yes. Anita. Hello, hello, Tony. Hello. So nice to see you. Um, Thank you. I wanted to uh, be here because I see you as uh, uncompromising in what you say mm. and what you convey. Um, and I'm relating to what a former uh, caller said about sort of waiting f- not to be me. That's where, oh. I, that's where I find myself, whatever self there is here. Uh-huh. Um, and I still find, so So the, the self that's here still wants to, okay, is there anything I can do? No, no, no. There, I know what you're going to say there, that. There's, no, there's nothing you can do. It is, but there is no you. All there is is what the idea that there's a you is illusory. It's in the fantasy world. In, in the natural reality, all there is is nothing, apparently, happening. What you're looking at at the moment is nothing, apparently, happening. That's all there is. And so just let life be done. No, as- no. Well, who's going to let life? Uh, You're back to the idea that you are just let love. No, there isn't anyone. There is no one sitting on that seat. All there is is what's happening. And it feels like something is sitting on that seat, but there isn't anybody that's doing it. And there's nobody that's happening to it. It's just what it is. Everybody watching this video or the videos is is in the same situation. Everything that's happening to everybody watching this video is is in the situation where it's not them that is doing what's happening. There is just what's happening. That's where the beloved the beloved is there in what's happening, not in it happening to you. So just see that all there is is what's happening. Nobody's doing it. Imbibe in the wonder of what is. Thank you. Maybe. Okay, it's a quick written question. Um, right, okay. Um, free will, oh, hang on a minute, it's appearing. Free will is an illusion. I realize I'm not doing anything, and the choices that are made are coming from nowhere and no one. But I often still feel like an individual around others. Anyway, that's what seems to be happening here. No one to do anything about it. Am I making progress? The underlying question that is arising that needs no answer because there is no I. There's no I, and therefore no progress. 
There's nowhere to go to. Already the beloved is here. The beloved is all there is. Well, believe it or not, that's the end of the questions at the moment. No one else oh, is asking. Okay. Oh, somebody had Jackie's Jackie's on the on back in with the with a chant. So Jackie, there we yeah, are. I was, just, I was just waiting to uh, till anyone who hadn't said you know spoken before would had a chance. Yeah, not not a question, just a just just a, a, a gratitude, Tony and Claire. Oh, just like you know, meeting you guys and being with you you. I, just the freedom, just the freedom and the love, you know, oh. like, yeah, it, it, yes, that that, you know, whatever whatever happens, like that has been so dear to my heart that I knew, you know, knowing that freedom and love being with you too. So thank you, thank you so much, and we love being with you, and we look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, That's brilliant, that'd brilliant. be lovely. Thank you so much. Okay, Faith. Hello, Tony and Claire. Just to say Hi. thank you very much for all the entertainment over the years. Oh, it's been very grand. Thank you. Okay. Right. Have a lovely evening, both of you. God bless. And you. Take Bye. care. I love you. Bye. Okay. Okay. That's the mm -hmm. I've got a written question, Tony. Mm. Do you want me to read that or not? Mm, please. Okay. Um Right, so it's sort of two in, in one, really. Is there an observer, an observing energy? And then this is my first meeting listening to you. I'm new to the non-duality message. I'm facing a situation at work where I experience others who have wronged me. I go through stress, fear and anxiety. My feelings of self are so strong and I can't separate myself from what's happening. I keep thinking about it and can't let it go. Would you share your thoughts on this? I can't really comment on the second part very much, except to say that that, that that is what is happening. I don't give advice to people about their life situation and what they can do about it, because I recognise that there is no one and there is no life situation. But those things you describe are an appearance of energy. It's an energetic appearance. And, it's, and whatever happens, it has got nothing to do with anybody doing it. Oh, and the other part of the question, I think we've had a bit of that already. There is no, uh, I, the observer only arises in the fantasy of dualism, because in dualism there are two, and to have an observer, you have to have something that is observed, and it's part of the dream. Okay, we've got um, Kim now, who would like to ask a question. Hi, Kim. Hey, Tony. Great to see you. Um, in your book, The Open Secret, one of the that was the first thing I read about you, uh, whatever you uh, And in it, what got my attention was you mentioned this whiteness. And I, I don't have the book in front of me, and I haven't read it for a while, so I can't remember exactly um, your words to, to help trigger it for you. But I've had a couple glimpses where everything disappeared with this whiteness. Oh. Does that ring? No, no. I just think you've got another book. I've never mentioned anything. No, it's, yours okay. it's yours because it was, oh. that's what- I don't that remember that at all. Non-duality. So it's difficult to say anything about it. I'm sorry? I don't remember writing that, and I don't remember any event when there was just whiteness. So it's very difficult for me. Well, I can't comment on it. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it was strange because what, what I experienced, two, two times this happened to me where everything disappeared 
and it was like this, like a cloud. It was all white, and and mm. and then when everything came back, I just loved everything for, for no, the rest. Of the I have no recall of that. No. Oh no, you didn't have you, no. You didn't say that. What you said was um, something about seeing white and mm. or. I can't remember the exact words, but it's in the open secret where I saw it. And so I'll have to find it. But I was just curious if that means anything to you, or I guess not. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thanks very much. Okay, uh, Richard Moore. Hi, Tony. Hi, Claire. Hi, Richard. Hi. Firstly, I just wanted to thank you again for your generosity over the years in making this available to us. Oh. Uh, and it's really great. Um, and I thought while I'm here, I might as well share, share just a couple of things that have kind of gone ping today. Mm. One is it's kind of helpful. Somebody said they found you slippery. And I thought that was really quite helpful because, yeah, we all, I think we all find you slippery because we're all trying to seek this mm. thing and tie it down. Mm. But I suspect your answer is like, no, this isn't slippery. This is sort of absolute or something like that. It's totally consistently nothing being everything or however you... You want to for me. We're trying to kind of like, oh, what is that? Is it yeah. that sort of... And so yeah. it feels very slippery at this end. Yeah. You want to it for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is this thing about a couple of times today, you've talked about people having the idea that there's something here that we've got to approach... And that, you know, when I get there, I'll get it and ping, you know, there'll be lights and you know, something wonderful will happen. And then you said, well, no, it's actually every footstep that you take towards it or even not towards it, that's all it. And uh, again, I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone in kind of, oh, right, it's in the footsteps. I've got to kind of like do something. Oh. Oh, I've just got to be here, yeah. not approaching it, sort of thing. But do, do, do lots of walking. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of it's still grasping, isn't it? It's grasping yeah, the, absolutely. here rather than the getting somewhere. It's still yeah. it's kind of the same, and it's a bit yeah. Uh, um, okay. Thank you. Richard. I think yeah. that's that sort of gone off in here today. And uh, yeah, that's good. It's lovely. Thank, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Um, there's one here which says, I, if I look at the wonder of the human body and its functioning, I can't get away from thinking there must be intelligence behind creation. Uh, well, first of all, there's no creation because nothing's happening. So there's nothing happening. Uh, people don't get this at all. I did say right at the beginning, all there is is boundless energy and there's no beginning or end to it because it's timeless. So there can't be a creation if there isn't time for it to be created. That's why all of its appearance is completely without meaning or purpose. And I've forgotten what the second bar was. Um, let's see what uh, hang on a sec. Uh, it, it just says, if I look at the wonder of the human body and its functioning, oh. I can't get away from thinking there must be intelligence. Oh, intelligence, yes. Of course there is intelligence, but it is no one's intelligence. Just that the whole of this boundless energy uh, has intelligence. And there's a second part, which is um, what do you make of the story speeding up? All the technology so much changing fast. Well, it's just another thing that's apparently happening. It's largely to do with the, you know, the wish to make the world a better place or to, or to make more money. <laughs> but basically, it's simply what it's happening. Nobody's doing any of that. It's what's happening. Nobody's doing global warming or trying to avoid global warming. All of those things are simply what is apparently happening. It's all nothing apparently happening. OK, so we've got a question from Zabby. OK. Hello, Zabby. Hi, Tony. Um, I don't have a question. I just want to say hi, and I love Okay, you. hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Yes? Well, there's, there's, there's Jackie wanted to ask another question, but it's up to you. Okay, Jackie, yeah. 
Oh, and we've also got Kim Roberts now. All oh, right. Yeah, just just a, a daft question, but do you? What's your sense of the future, Tony? <laughs> the, the <laughs> well, humanity. There is, no, there is no future, as far as I'm concerned. But the apparent story of what's going on with the future uh, sounds feels like me to me like fireworks. It feels pretty um, amazing in all sorts of different ways. But I, I can't say what the result of any of that would be. Okay, fireworks. I think the me, I did write about it in my last book. I think the me itself is reaching a sort of crisis at the moment. Because mm. it's because it's totally frustrated about not being able to find what it wants. Bit of a tantrum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could call it that. Great, thank you. Thank you. There are two more, Tony. Do you want to go for yeah, it or not? Yeah, I'll go on. No, just, on. Okay, um, Remy, would you like to ask your question? Yes, I want to brother, and I, I want to hear while you answer. In a sense, I understand that I can't be understood because I am beyond everything. That that's I can see and feel no I anywhere. I can see when they say I am nothingness, I am before everything happens, that's just a way of saying things. Yeah. Because absolutely. I could be seen by myself. So everything happens. So everything there is no I at all. I can feel them. Mm. Yes. But when you say nothing is happening. And my lesson would you know it can't be understood. It can't be understood. I don't have to search for it. Hmm. Don't have to okay. I don't have to. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, last one is Thank Kim you. Roberts. Kim. You're oh, muted, yeah. Kim. You need to unmute you. yourself. It's no, a little no. icon, the, the microphone symbol. No. no. Right at the bottom of your screen, there's a little red... There we are. Hello, Tony. Hello. <laughs> Long time no see. How are you? Yeah, and you. Yeah, good. I'm coming, to, I'm coming to see you in October. Oh, great. Wonderful. Well, listen, I've sat with you today, but when I sit with you um, in the real me in the real meetings, in the energy meeting, I just feel that there's a space and I can sense your energy more than from from the computer, from my laptop. Right. Is that anything to do with it? It could might well be. Yeah, it could well be. Yeah. And also, um, are you can you talk about the supple bodies? Do you go beyond? I'm in my physical body trying to see, but have you spaced out and gone back into uh, any of the supple bodies? <laughs> no, not at all. There is no one. There's oh. no one in the body. There's nothing in the body. It's just a body. There is no one. It's the same for everyone, except if they're in the fantasy of dualism, in which they believe they are real and that they live in their body. That is their body. That's the difference. But you don't believe that you're in a body. I don't. I have a, a you. There's no me. There is all there is. It's nothing apparently. Yes. Yeah. I do actually believe you in the meeting. Oh, right, good. I do believe you, but then when I come home, it clears up after a couple of days. Right, okay. Is there anything I can do to make it last? No, there's no you to tell you. All right. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jim. Yeah. Thank you, Tony. That is true. Uh, do you want me to go into the chat area, Tony, or do you want to finish there? It's 29.29 past. It's up to you. Go in what area? Well, in the chat, there's a couple more questions. Okay, yeah, fine. Um, hang on. Oh. Do you think do you think it's the mind that sees itself as the body and makes a jump into it, creating the illusory? No, it's meaning. energetic. No, the the the, the uh, arising of apparent individuality is an energetic thing that seems to happen for no reason at all. 
Okay, these are quick fire questions. Dear Tony, did you experience mystical ex experiences? No, quick fire answer, no. <laughs> and um, to say the me is getting frustrated seems like a contradiction to the message. Can well, you it's a story. I should have said apparently. I actually should say apparently before every word, but it gets a bit boring. And finally, hi, Tony. Did I hear you correctly regarding the work question, that there is no one there doing anything, and secondly, nothing is happening? Yeah, absolutely. You've got it in one or two. <laughs> okay, that, that ends the quick fire question. Thank you very much. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, it's been lovely to talk to you all. Thank we'll you. Do thank again, we'll do it again sometime. I yeah. enjoyed your questions, and I hope you haven't enjoyed my answers. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, oh, no. No. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. Bye-bye, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Tony. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Thank you, Tony. Bye-bye. Thank you, Tony. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.